Good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and today is Tuesday, January the 26th, 2021. And before we get started, I just want to remind everyone to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button and subscribe to my channel. And also share my uh, videos to one person you know who can benefit from these thought-provoking topics. So with that being said, let's get down to this is today's lecture. Uh, this lecture is going to be a caveat from yesterday's video upload that I did on uh, 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 people who are hiding from gambling addiction and how to recognize if a person is hiding their gambling addiction. So check out that upload. And the focus of this lecture is going to be how gambling distorts reality and hooks the brain. How gambling distorts reality and hooks the brain. It's really gambling establishments are designed for deception. So I'm going to introduce three, three specific indicators on what's going on in regards to how gambling distorts reality and hook the brain. Number one, pay attention. The lights and sounds edge you on, what edge the gambler on. But gambling is more than just winning and losing. It can be a whole immersion environment with the flashing of the lights in the sounds, all that is designed to um, edge you on and create that distorted reality. This is particularly true in a busy casino, but even a game or gambling app on a smartphone includes plenty of audio and visual frills to capture your attention. And that all creates that distortion. Research suggests that these lights and sounds become more attractive and capable of triggering urges to play when they are paired with reward uncertainty. And what I mean by reward uncertainty with the potential of winning. And that all creates that distortion uh, uh, in that distorted reality. First real cup of coffee for the day. So people got to pay attention to this. They got to pay attention to what's really going on psychological inside of these gambling establishments. In particular, when associated cues such as jingles that vary in length and size as a function of a jackpot size, which all creates that distorted reality. Both increase excitement and will lead the gambler to overestimate how often they are winning. They can also keep you gambling longer and encourage you to play faster. And this is a whole lot that's going on psychologically to the gambler inside of those gambling establishments. So the takeaway for number one is the lights and sounds will all edge you on to gamble more and more and more. Lose, win, lose, win, lose, win. Number two, feeling like a winner while you are losing. Feeling like a winner while you are using is another ingredient that creates that distorted reality in those gambling establishments. Since games of chance are set up so the house always has an advantage, make no mistake about that. That gambling house or that gambling establishment is going to always have the advantage. So a gambler will win infrequently at best. 
And I'm here to tell you, you might only rarely experience the lights and the sounds that come along with hitting a true giant part. So that's real and critical ingredient in reference to number two that creates that distorted reality uh, in terms of being inside of those gambling establishments is feeling like a winner while you are losing. And number three, almost near miss effect in chasing your losses. This includes near misses where one of the reels stop just short of lining up for that giant part. And that and, and, and that creates that vicious cycle of to continuously gamble and gamble and gamble. The near miss almost wins recruits areas of the brain that usually respond to wins and increases one's desire to play more, especially in problem gamblers. And I'm going to say that again. These near miss almost wins recruits areas of the brain that usually responds to wins and increases one's desire to play more, especially with the problem gambler. And I'm here to tell you. So these are three powerful ingredients that ties into that ties into that distorted reality for the gambler uh, in terms of it'll hook the brain to gambling addiction. And I'm here to tell you all of that's going on inside of those gambling establishments. And one other thing I do want to mention is up to, according to research, up to 2% of the U.S. population are problem gamblers, suffering from what's recently been classified as a gambling disorder, a.k.a. gambling addiction. It stands out as one of the true addictions that doesn't involve the consumption of alcohol or drugs, but, but gambling addiction over time will lead or cause the person to start abusing alcohol or drugs because of the losses that creates the anxiety and the depression. So that's just, just a, a, a tad bit of uh, uh, information I want to just add to in terms of the gambling addiction. And I do want to say that there's help out there for persons suffering from gambling addiction. There's help out there. There's a uh, treatment from addiction counselors. There's gambling anonymous. There's a whole lot of 1-800 numbers out there. So again, if you know someone who's suffering from gambling addiction, pass this information along. This is thought-provoking, valuable information. And with that being said, don't forget to hit my subscribe button. Don't forget to hit my notification button and, uh, and help my channel reach its 100 subscriber mark by the end of January 2021. So that's all I have. Uh, uh, simplify, simple fidelis. And I will see you all again the next time. Have a great evening.